Hey guys, EVP Man here, and today we're going to answer all your questions on the VAVA 4K Ultra Short Throw Projector that we just reviewed a couple weeks ago. In this video, we're going to cover several features that you've been asking for. Uh, answering the question as to where you can purchase it, there's a link in the common area, but we're going to show you the Indiegogo uh, page itself, and we're going to cover a lot of other features. Let's get right to it. Now in this video, we're gonna cover gameplay. A lot of you have been asking me, what is the gameplay like and what is the latency like? So we're gonna have a remote control in our hand. We're gonna see how the gameplay uh, reacts as you're pressing the button and the image on the screen. So we'll take a look at the latency. The other thing you've been asking for is what does the daylight view look like? So we're gonna have the lights on and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then we're gonna shut down the lights little by little so you can get an understanding of what the overall viewing experience is. Now one thing that we missed that you were asking for is the fan noise, is there a loud noise coming from the unit? I will tell you, I don't ever hear anything, but I have a surround sound system, but we're gonna talk about that. We'll put a little meter there so we can see what kind of sound noise is coming from it, if any at all, so we'll see that. And then the last thing we're gonna talk about is the HDMI types. Now, we may not cover them all in that order, but those are the things that you've been asking for. If you have more questions, let me know in the comment area. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So now let's check the Indiegogo website so that you can see how you can support this campaign. So here we are, and I'm gonna have the link to this in the common area. You have the VAVA 4K Ultra Short Throw uh, Laser Projector. You'll notice here that you have the first perk that you can support. It's $24.99 uh, and it is 28% off. Uh, there's a second one that once those 50 units are gone where you can support it with 22% off, 17% off, and then obviously you can look at uh, purchasing two. And the estimated delivery is June. So this is going to be a really quick delivery for those of you who are interested in supporting. And as you saw, it's a real unit. So I've, I've been testing it. Now, as we go down, I just want to address some of the uh, questions. So we're going to go down this page and I want to talk about some of the features that you've been asking for. Um, and you know we've talked about the display. So here you can see that the display is a 4K display, 3840 by 2160. You also then have three HDMI ports of which one supports um, ARC. You also then see here that you have uh, the sound level is 32 dB. We are going to go to the unit and we're going to put a meter next to it to see how much noise comes from it. I can tell you I don't hear anything. Uh, the fan is super quiet. Uh, the cooling system is excellent. And then you also see what the short throw distance is. Now in my setup, I just want to highlight something. If you do pick up this projector, you want to look at the base where you're going to rest the projector. The lower the base, the better your image is going to be as it projects to the wall. My base is a little bit over 20 inches. And consequently, what you're seeing is that a little portion of the projection image is actually cutting off. It's going up too high. That's just because my base is too high. So you'll want to make sure that you have a base that is lower so that the entire image can display. Now, this is not a defect. This is not a problem with the projector. It just happens to be that my base is too high. Now, I've tilted it. I've used the actual keystoning to adjust it to the best of my ability for my setup, but that's what's going on there. No defect whatsoever. Now, as you take a look at this also, you have a sound bar, 30 watt. Uh, you can do Bluetooth coming from your phone. You can, I've had some questions, can you connect your phone and project from your phone? And the answer is yes. And then it does support Dolby Audio. Now, literally, I'm mentioning to you guys, this is a theater in the box. So you take this thing out, you have great sound, it rumbles where well, has good bass, mids and highs are there, and you're just going to town. Love the quality uh, that we are getting in our experience. So let's switch to our theater experience and see all those um, options that you were looking for. All right, so now let's take a look at what this looks like in a fully lit room. As you can see here, everything is fully lit and I'm gonna start shifting down the lights. So I have two light panels that I'm gonna switch. So I'm gonna flip the first switch and you can see how it got a little bit darker and everything pops. And now we're gonna switch them all off. And as you can see here, Everything is uh, popping. The colors are vibrant. Uh, the reds are reds, the greens are greens, the blues are blues, yellows, oranges. Everything is just absolutely amazing when it comes to the color quality. And you can still see my fish tank over to the side that uh, you can see how that is lit up. So you can see the difference between how dark things are. So overall, this projector does a phenomenal job when it comes to uh, color reproduction and then image quality. Now let's look at gameplay. So as we look at gameplay, I'm gonna go through uh, 
what I would call fast modes and then slow motion mode. So watch the triggers as I'm pressing the triggers to jump and you can see that as I press it, what the response rate is. And we'll speed it up so that you can uh, actually get a sense of how things are going um, in, in this specific jump uh, sequence. We're also gonna look at another trigger motion and we're gonna go from fast uh, also to slow. So as you can see here, we're going from the fast rapid and then you can see the tap, tap, tap. And then what we'll do is we'll slow it down again so that you can get a sense of you know, what it looks like or what it feels like from a slow motion perspective. So far, pretty happy. Now, the last thing we're doing is an audio test. So this is the ambient noise in the room. And as I take it to the projector, you can see how the projector with the fan on does increase, but not significant. Now, I have a lot of ambient noise in my, uh, in my test area because I have a fish tank there, which is probably not the best thing to have. But it's going to give you a sense of you know, how loud the fan is compared to the room uh, sound. So we're going to pull the, uh, the actual phone back from and look at what the ambient noise. So I'm 36 to 37 uh, decibels. Yeah. And then as I bring it to the fan, you notice that it goes up to 40, 41, and it varies, you know, it just goes back and forth. So it's not a significant gain, but this will give you a sense of what the fans sound like. I hope that this answers most, if not all of your questions. If you have more, let me know in the comment area below and we'll follow up with another video. Thanks for watching.